most probably a big part of our epigenetic is the stress, yeah. the lifestyle. The, how is stress affecting us in, yeah. in today's world, how we work, how we, yeah. how, we, how we go through life? For me, this is one of the most important things in my daily practice. Mm -hmm. um, the, the way how people are addressed with stress is a huge amount of, of influence. Very short time, just as we are talking about genetics and epigenetics, one of the interesting parts of stress in here is that every cell which divides into new cells, so for development, they have to, to copy the genetics mm -hmm. and then they divide them to two new cells. And the genes are setting on the chromosomes, which are just small books, something like that. And they are protected at the end of every chromosome. It's like an X. At the end, there are caps and they are called telomere. This is a protecting agent so that the text in the book is safe, even if yeah. I divide that. Mm -hmm. And we know that in aging, the telomeres are, are shortened. And if they are, if they are gone, this cell cannot be doubled anymore. So telomere shortening is one of the major agents in aging and losing information. Okay. And what we know from science is that stress has a huge negative effect of development of the cutting down the telomeres. So chronic stress cuts down the telomeres, so more cells, more earlier, lose the protection of the gene information. This is the first part of stress. This is more or less a long-term effect of stress, or depending on when it starts. What effect has that on, on our body or life? Premature aging, um, premature loss of function, um, chronic diseases, um, illnesses. Dying is a little bit too much to say, but more getting more problems in lower Perfect. ages than must be